Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Builders of Greece, a game where we travel back in time to ancient Greece, and as the name of the game implies, we build it. Literally, we build the cities that made ancient Greece so powerful and influential back in that time. So it's part city builder, and it's part city management. So we build the buildings, like homes and farms and markets and roads and such like things we're very familiar with, but also we choose how the city is run, with policies and councillors and all that kind of stuff. And I did like this, on the Steam Store page, it does say the game lets you display your strategic and economic mastery. I'm not sure we have mastery of either of those things, but you know what? We shall give it a jolly good go anyway. Now, this is the prologue version of the game, and as we know, prologue is a fancy way of saying demo, so it's not the finished product. But as always, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description. We can go and check the game out a little bit more if you would like to. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Away with us to ancient Greece. After such a long journey, it is good to finally feel the solid land under your feet, and the island, ah, it is even more beautiful than I imagined. Fertile soils, virgin forests teeming with game, rich deposits of raw materials, and an azure ocean so abundant with fish they almost swim into the nets themselves. It is not an island, but an untouched paradise bathed in the sun. It does look very lovely. Look at that, it looks very nice. I mean, I'm thinking... If we could get a hotel set up right there, bit of a pool over here, a bar over here serving pina coladas, we could make an absolute fortune. We could make so much money, but no, Chappie seems intent on beginning an empire or something. Okie doke. Exhausted by war, people have entrusted their future into your hands, oh dearie me. Now it is up to you to build and rule a great polis for people to call a new home. However, you will not face this challenge alone. I will provide you with guidance and oversee everything, and if doubts arise, you can always seek help from the archive and scrolls written by the most illustrious kings it said there the captain has already departed for another polis to establish contact with them and the people do not know what to do now however they long for a bustling city center so you should promptly designate the place where the heart of your polis the agora will be erected okay so polis must be greek for city or settlement or something and then we have an agora which is the heart of that okie doke right so Camera controls, right you are. Can we move the camera around? My goodness me, aren't we brilliant at that? I can see why we got the job. Okay, so job number one, build a little kind of city centre type thing. But more important than that, very important question to ask first, is spacebar pause? Yes, I can happily confirm that spacebar is pause. Well done, game. Good job. That's wonderful. Right, so where do we want to build? Now the game is paused, we can just take a little look around. I mean, I'm thinking, ah, here we go. That's where our current sort of setup is. We're down here, got a few boats and some bits and bobs, some kind of, you know, crates and wagons and things. So I imagine we don't want to be too far away from here because I would think that we have to move all of our stuff from here to wherever we build the city centre. So if we were to build here, I mean, that's the map. The map's quite big. The map's very big. That's a huge island. Hang on. Hang on. So we could, if we wanted to, build, say, all the way over here. Would that mean we have to move that stuff from there to there? That's quite a long way. Um, okay, so we've got... I don't quite know what these deposits are. What's that? That is... I don't know what that is. Clay, possibly? There's some clay over there, and then we've got stone over there. So, I mean, over here looks pretty good. Over here looks like quite a good place, but is it a bit hilly? I'm thinking it might be a bit hilly. We're going to come up from the beach here, maybe over here, look. If we set up over here, we're not too far away from things over here. There's some clay down there, I think. And yeah, there's stone around as well. There's some stone. Uh, where is some stone? Over here somewhere. So, if we do set up here on this kind of relatively flat open bit. There's wood over there, got stone, and the clay, if that is clay, isn't too far away. I think that seems pretty good. So, okay, let's get our Agora down. That's job number one. Okay, I imagine it's down here. Administrative buildings, absolutely. Right, there it is. So maintenance cost is three money, is that? And one person, I imagine, to kind of run it. But okie doke, right, so where do we put that? It's going to go, uh, I mean, how do we rotate it? Can we rotate it like that? Yes, we can. I kind of feel like it goes better that way round. So let's put it... There's a sort of a long building there. Let's put the long building facing that way. And then the Agora can kind of look out over the sea. That's quite nice. So if we put that there, for example... Oh, okay. 
Hang on, so it just did a weird kind of fading thing, and now here we are. Do you hear the buzz? Conversations and laughter. People are looking into the future with hope, anticipating a fresh start in this place. However, they do not wish to spend too many nights in the Agora. Okay, why would that be the case? Um, build a... Thetes? Thetes cottage? I don't... My, my Greek language is very limited. I don't know what the little kind of accent over the E means there in Greek. Um, a Thetes cottage? Okay, so build cottages, basically, so people don't want to live over here. So if we run time on... Ah, we've got people here now. Right, so we've got 16 people just kind of hanging around. And then we've got a lovely kind of little market setup type thing. That's very fun. Cover bit at the back there, little stalls and things. Bit of a... Oh, it's like a sort of a... <gasps> they've got bunting. They've got bunting. Okay, this place is amazing. We love this. They've got bunting. That, that's wonderful. Okay, right. Game of the year already. There's bunting. Uh, the first building you get has bunting. That's magnificent. Um, okay, so can we click on the people? Can we find out more about you? Calistrate. So either that's your name or that's the type of person you are. Uh, no, that's your name. So we've got Phaedros, Calistrate, Olympias. Good Greek name there. That's good. Theron. We've got... Oh, crikey. Ikaterine, we've got Hydra over there, and Ampelios. Okay, right, so the yeah, little individual characters going on. So now, yes, we have to build some cottages. So that's, oh no, that's a warehouse. Hang on. Where would that be? Residential buildings. Okay. So can we build that? What do we have in terms of resource? So we've got 10 fish, 10 meat, 30 wood, and 30 stone. That doesn't seem like very much in terms of food. That doesn't seem like a lot of fish or meat. So maybe we do have to get sort of fishing and hunting quite quickly. But right now, it wants us to build cottages. So five of these is going to be five logs and ten stone. And I think we're okay with that. So right, here we go. Let's get these in. Where do we put them? I'm kind of thinking, do they want to be near to this? There's a line connecting them, which implies that it's you know, going to be connected somehow. What if we just build them over in that way if we leave a little gap we could have a path going down there somewhere so if we just sort of build in fact can we build a road okay we can build a path so not exactly a great big lovely paved road but a path will do the job so i think given that that is a very important building we should just put a path all the way around it and then everything can easily connect to that that would be my thinking so can we do that can we just kind of drop a path in all around the edge so we can do that oh hang on oh that's exciting. Hang on. Can it keep going? Ah, no, right. So, okay, you can build a path with a bit of a bend in it, but that's okay. So, go around like that. They do cost a little bit of money, the paths, but we do seem to have 3,000 money with us, which is quite good. So, bring that up like that, and then across the back, uh, bring that in like that, and there we go. So, now there's a little kind of route around our Agora, so everything can connect to it relatively easily. Okay, I quite like that. And then we can get the houses in. So, here we go. We'll get a few of these. So, if we then rotate that round, ah, so that bit with the sort of very fancy pointy arrows must be where they, where the road could connect, possibly. So, if we just do that. So, if we go one, okay, marketplaces. I didn't put a market down, did I? That was a how that's a cottage. Why are you telling me about marketplace? Okay, Agora markets are places where the citizens of your polis can replenish their supplies of food and goods. Okie doke, that makes sense. Ensure that each residential building is located within an appropriate range of the Agora or a marketplace. Otherwise, supplying residential buildings may experience significant delays. Oh, that's what the little kind of line was. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, if we build it, say, over here... It's not got that blue line connecting it, so I imagine that means it's too far away. Although that does seem a bit of a trek, but okay, that's fine. I and mean, we don't need to worry too much, so we're just going to put them over here. So that's two, that's three, and then what we'll do is we'll have a little kind of street like that. That's four and that's five. So, oh, hang on, they need eight. Oh, okay, right, that's okay. Hang on a minute, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just get eight of them down. That's good, like that, and then get a road and bring that road through the middle, like that, because I do like a nice road. Okay, wonderful. Right, so we've got our houses in, so people can now go and live somewhere. Uh, every production building has requirements that must be met for resource production to be possible. By clicking on the building and selecting the general tab, you can check the builder's requirements and track the current progress of production. Okay, so yeah, for example, the ceramics workshop needs clay to make the ceramics. Okay, gotcha, that's absolutely fine. 
Uh, and yet you can suspend the buildings if you need to. Okay, that's fine. So what do you want us to do? So a fisherman's hut or a hunting lodge, a woodcutter house and a quarry. Okay, can we go look at the buildings? They look very nice. There's quite a lot of detail going on. There's a lot of detail. They've got some trees out the back on that one. Little wagon. Have they got their own little kind of vegetable plot thing in the corner there? That's quite nice. That one's got a wagon with some kind of bits of wood in. Got a little kind of covered bit. Oh, they've got a balcony. We've got a balcony. Oh, they've got a balcony as well. Oh, they've all got balconies. Oh, okay. That, I mean, you know, that reduces the impact of your balcony. I was excited by that. But, I mean, that's still good. Balconies are fun. You've got some foliage growing through your house. But okay, that's fine. We'll get somebody to chop that back. That's good. Um, okay, so fisherman hut or hunting lodge. I suspect maybe both of those are going to be a bit better than just having one. So we'll get both of those in and then a woodcutter house and then a quarry. Okay, I mean the woodcutter, it would make sense if the woodcutter went over here because there's lots of trees and therefore there's lots of wood. So let's get them in over there. So production buildings, woodcutter's house. Okay. So we can do that, get that in. If we put that over here, look, 100% it says. There is plenty of tree about. Okay, that's good. So if we put them, say, up there like that, there's a little bit of lag going on in this game. Uh, but if we put that there, for example, and then again, got a lovely path to come down to connect up to there, just to make things a little bit quicker. Um, oh, okay, right. Happiness. Okay, things keep popping up all over the place. Right, happiness. Uh, warehouse. I hadn't read happiness game. Hang on. Back to happiness we go. What's happening there? The happiness of each social group in your polis affects the work efficiency of their representatives. Okay. So if, say, the, I don't know, the adults are a bit unhappy, they're not going to work quite as well or whatever. Okay, right. That's fine. That's fine. We can, we'll work on that as we go. We're doing the basics right now, game. Good grief. What's that? New buildings have been unlocked. Oh, okay. I thought it was like an upgrade for something. Uh, right. So we've got that in. Can we get another worker in here? Oh, five out of five people already working in there. Okay, that's quite good. How do we get more people in? That's quite a good question. We've got eight available workers. So five people working in the woodcutter house. Um, I mean, do we get another couple of houses in? Do we get another couple of houses? So pop a house there and a house there. Does that now encourage people to move in? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Get a road, get a path. That might encourage people a bit more. Yay for a path. Um, we'll see if people move in. We'll see if they move into those two new places. Right, so we got that in. A quarry. Okay, quarry is the next thing. So production building. Get us a quarry to top up stone because we're going through that quite quickly. Um, ah, right. Oh, the, kind of, the stone icon floats about in the sky. That's exciting. Uh, right, so if we put it there... There is plenty of stone. So if we just pop that down over there and then get us a lovely road and connect that up. Where's the front of this, actually? Where is the front? I'm not entirely sure. What we'll do is, because I don't know where the front is, we'll build a bit on that side, like that, and a bit on that side, and then we'll just connect that up with that corner there if we can. Like that. Perfect. So we can now gather stone. That's quite good. However, we only have two people left now. There's only two people remaining to do some jobs. So if we do get a fisherman hut and a hunting lodge, there's only going to be one fisherman and one hunter, which is okay, I suppose. That's not too bad, but I'm hoping more people move in. I'm hoping those houses encourage people to pop over and join us over here. So let's get those in as well. So where are we? Production buildings. So a fisherman hut. Okay, so I imagine this has got to go, oh, crikey, over by the sea. That would make perfect sense. Um, a bit like that, that'll do. I notice our boats have gone. I assume, oh, that's what that became, was it? That's why it did the kind of fade to black. So all of our boats over here then turned into that there. So we could have, in theory, built anywhere on the island then. We could have built anywhere we like. But okay, that's absolutely fine. Right, so if we put then a little kind of fishing thing down there. Uh, oh, hang on. So our compatriots arrived at the shore during the night. We offered them food and shelter, but soon it became clear there was not only a shortage of homes, but also of basic utensils. Fortunately, this area is rich with clay deposits that we can make use of. Okay, so now we need to go and make some clay pottery. Uh, we can check the state of our resources up here. Um, oh, we can track different ones. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so that's clay and 
hang on a minute and we can change that to ceramics oh that's quite good okay well that is quite handy i quite like there's a lot of different kind of slots you can have for that not just sort of you're not limited to two or three or whatever that's quite good um okay what does that mean what does that thing mean there's a big thing there what's that about do we need okay i might be getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here but do we have to build a warehouse do we need a warehouse kind of over here maybe if we build a warehouse there for example and then we connect that fisherman hut up to a road which then links to the warehouse would that be quite good is that going to help if we do that look hang on if we sort of put that there like so and then get that road coming all the way down there and then we can have a road going around the edge look oh yes it's very wonderful and then have a road going along the back of there did that work uh, i think we've got one little bit that's okay and then have that coming up like that so that's now connected to the kind of the road network another little bit of lag going on there and then another bit like that oh yes that's very good and then that across like that perfect okay right so we need to get some more population but right now we're looking a little bit low on stone and wood bear in mind that i think time has been paused for the entire time that this entire settlement has appeared i mean no, you know, no time has passed by and roads are appearing buildings structures just appearing all at the exact same moment in history but okay that's absolutely fine it's all good so i think then get another couple of houses in let's just rotate that around so get one and two so now we've got plenty of houses so loads of places for people to go and live that's absolutely fine and now yeah that's sort of the population thing now so a clay pit and a ceramics workshop okay so the nearest clay pit is actually quite some way away it's where is it over here possibly uh, hang on hang on does it say when we do the thing over here um clay pit quarry lodge fishman oh yeah we do need to get a hunting lodge as well um where's the clay pit service buildings military buildings uh oh hang on decoratives a bull statue a fire pit thing of flower flower bed and a fountain okay well we're going to get some of those in we're definitely going to get some of those oh to get the play pit and uh, the clay pit sorry not the play pit <laughs> the play pit's a decorative we haven't unlocked yet the clay pit we have to have 25 people okay we might need to possibly allow time to run on oh look and there you go the dust is just going to settle of all the buildings just appearing all simultaneously at the exact same moment but there we go so hopefully some more people will move in or i suppose you know in theory people could do some stalk letter writing to you know, up the population but you know for now we just hope that people kind of migrate in um three people in the fisherman hut i mean is it worth looking at getting a hunting lodge in is it worth thinking about that if we did want to get a hunting lodge in which i think we probably should do just to make sure we definitely don't run out of food we can build one it's no problem we've got the money and we've got the wood i think maybe maybe we put them behind the sort of woodcutter thing over there because they have to be out in the woods because of course that's where they go hunting that's where the animals are so i think if we put them there i think that's where hang on if we rotate it round so that's where the front is so like that so 100 percent. so they should be able to catch quite a lot of animals around there so do that and then once again get us a lovely road kind of coming in like that that should link those together okay so now i imagine we're gonna have yeah so no more people right now there's no more sort of uh people of working age to go and do the jobs so we're one short on the hunting lodge so that might not be quite as efficient as it could be but that's okay it's still fine um and yeah we need to get more people in so let's run time on nice and quick i assume people do just kind of move in uh what do we got in there so yeah that's our kind of marketplace a bit of fish bit of meat people are obviously going to go and grab that and uh, there we go population already up to 22 so either somebody was born or people have just kind of moved in 23 out of 25 that's very pretty look at that hang on put time down to normal that's lovely that's a nice effect oh look at that you go out on a little boat go and get a bit boaty do some fishing 
Oh, it's so lovely. It's really pretty. Look, a hotel. A hotel right here on the beach would have been fantastic. Hotel, pool over there. Then there's yeah, lovely bar serving pina coladas and other drinks as well. You get tea and pina coladas and maybe some water as well for hydration because that's important. And then look, it'd be overlooking, if I get the camera right, that. It would just be overlooking that, a little kind of rock formation over there and just out into that lovely blue ocean. That'd be lovely. That would be very nice. But okay, we can't do it right now. But look at that. That's really nice. Okay, good. Have we got 25 people? Yes, we have. Wonderful. Still got no available workers. So we might need to possibly run time on a bit more. We've got 27 actual people. But yeah, we haven't got any sort of available workers. I imagine we did get a worker and they went immediately over into the hunter hut thing. Uh, oh, no. They must have filled in another role somewhere else. Uh, okay, right. Run time on very quickly because we do need to get some more people in. If we get some more people that could do some jobs, that'd be good. Or do we... I was going to say, do we take people out of gathering stone and wood? But that's looking very low. That's looking really low. Um, can we see how many people are living in these cottages? Resident. Oh, that one's empty. That's empty. That's got a few people in. Two out of three people. So we have got, what, room for one? Uh, oh, hang on. Is that one full? No, that one's full. Oh, people are moving in. Ah, okay, good. Right, that's good. So one person lives in there. So there's two in there. So we've got space for five more people, I think. Assuming these are all full. So hopefully by that point, where are all the of this? Now, ten children. Can we, not, can we not make them just go and do a few simple things? Can we not send the children to go and do some quarrying? No, that, that's generally bad, isn't it? That's a bad thing. Uh, we might need to possibly take people out of chopping down trees and gathering stone. Because, yeah, we're not getting any kind of workers. And we have to go and build a clay pit and also a ceramics workshop. Do you know what? While we're here, just to make things a little bit nice, let's put some decorations down. Ooh, columns. We can have columns now. Okay, we're going to... We're going to build a fountain. We're going to put a fountain on that corner there because that's nice. Oh, and look at that. That's quite good. It's not quite got the water effect that I was hoping for, but okay, never mind. And then we'll put... Hang on, if we can rotate that round. Say a flower bed there and a flower bed... Oh, and a flower bed there, look. So three flower beds and then in the middle could... Oh, yes. Okay, how about then... We have a big, exciting bull statue over there. So it's looking toward the Agora, the centre. And then can we just have a column? And that's a pair of columns. We just have a column. Just just give us a column for no good reason. Yay for the column. Uh, oh, there's tier one, two and three things as well. But OK, look, little kind of decorative area. Got some plants. Very nice. A bull, a fountain and a column. Wonderful. OK, uh, right. Clay pit. Probably should look at getting that in. Hang on a second. Where are production buildings? Right, a clay pit. So we are going to have to go quite far afield to get the clay. I think yeah, there's a bit over there, look. It's going to be very far away. Uh, oh, do we have to build it right over the top of it? It's got to be connected to the thing. It's got to be touching that kind of deposit of clay within a range of it. Okay, um, right. Okay, that's quite some distance away. Right, so the settlement is over in that direction. And really, we want to build this as close as we can to the settlement and the clay deposit to minimise the travel time between the two locations. However, the only thing is, I notice that the blue dotty line type thing disappears. That disappears. So I think maybe we are going to be slightly too far away. But we'll muddle through. So if we build... There. That is about as near as we can get, I think. It's not exactly very close by, but that will have to do. So we've got access to clay and also we've got you know, the shortest distance possible back to the settlement, I think. Let's put that there for now. And then, of course, we have to connect it up with the road. And that was the front of the thing as well. That was the front. I made sure of that. So if we connect that up to there, for example... So that just gets rid of a few trees, but that's okay. It's a lovely walk over there now. It's nice. And then, do we need to get another warehouse in? Ooh, a marketplace and a... Ooh, a norrier. A water wheel responsible for irrigating the fields. Oh, okay. Like an irrigation thing. Okay, we're not quite at that point yet. So, I mean, a warehouse would be quite good. 
Maybe if we put a warehouse kind of in the middle, that would be quite useful. Don't tell me the game has crashed. Ah, no, the game didn't crash. That's wonderful. It did hang for a very, very long time. I think we were very near to a crash, but it did put the warehouse down right there in the middle of nowhere. We don't really want it to go just there. It's not linked to a road. So can we get rid of that? Can we knock that down? Destruction mode? Can we, just, can we get rid of that? Oh, no, that's trees. There we go. Right, so get rid of that. And then can we put it down where we actually want it to go, please? And don't go wibbly this time. There we go. That's better. So if we put that kind of there, so it's sort of halfway between the clay thing over there and the settlement there. Is that okay? Is that okay? What does that mean? Um, oh, no people to go and work there. Right. We are having a little bit of a uh, little bit of a personnel problem. Can we build another house? Is that going to help people come in? Although then if we get more people, are we going to be able to feed them? Um, okay, right now, hang on a second. We'll get another house in. So I think that would be quite good. So rotate it around, put it there. And I don't think we can get another house because now we don't have enough wood. So move time on very quickly and let's see what happens. So at the moment, we have got a clay pit down here ready. Oh, hang on. There's two people. There's two people already working in the clay pit. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, there's a very, there's two red lines, look. Two red lines, those people showing. It's a very, very long way away. Uh, three people now. Okay. Are the children growing up? Ah, there's only four children now. Okay, so the children are growing up. So time is going quite quickly. Time is moving on very rapidly indeed. Um, I mean, yeah, if they can, I've got two people working in the warehouse now, that's quite good. So if they could move the clay from there into the warehouse, that might make life a bit easier. That could be quite good. Um, and then a ceramics workshop. So that will be a production building as well. And that's just there. Okay, that requires one clay. Okay, we can't build that right now. We need to get a bit of clay out of here and then put it presumably in here. That would be useful. Uh, there's meat. There's meat and fish. Oh no, that's not all the meat and fish. That's just... Oh, that's like a generic pool of resources so that just tells us what there is everywhere that's not necessarily in that particular warehouse that can just be moved to move goods around possibly i'm not quite sure um can we gather a bit of clay please can we go and do that oh yeah you're out doing that now well done you yeah that's wonderful oh hang on a minute somebody's got a wagon with some stuff in is it full of lovely clay where are you going to take it are you going to take it to the warehouse or are you going to move it further afield? I mean, the warehouse... I know, into the warehouse. Perfect. One bit of clay. That entire sort of wagon you had contained one bit of clay. Okay. So now, get a ceramics workshop set up. Um, I feel like we should have kind of residences over here. And then maybe a little kind of industrial bit over here. So maybe... In fact, it's got two sides. It's got two bits which need access to a path. That's perfect pop this ceramics workshop onto the corner and there we go okay so now we can make some pots and things your citizens work hard so it is important to consider their relaxation and provide them with consumer goods that'll make their free time more enjoyable remember that the happier the citizen the more efficiently they perform their work with that in mind build a winery where your people can produce wine from the harvested grapes okay so now our people want to go and get a bit drunk on wine okay completely understandable so a winery oh hello Economy and taxes, right you are. The main source of funding for your polis is drachme. Okay, drachmas was uh, the currency a while back, wasn't it, before the euro? Paid in taxes by citizens. The higher the population, the more drachme are regularly deposited into the treasury. Okay, so at the moment, our balance is 13. So we actually have a little bit of a profit going on. Okay, that's quite good. Uh, we can adjust the tax rates. Of course, that's going to make people a bit grumpy. Okay, we won't adjust the tax. It's fine. We've got loads of money left. Right. A winery. So a grapevine plantation and then a winery. Ah, we have to have 50 people to get a winery uh, up and running. However, have we got any room left for people? I don't think we have. I think maybe we're at our current housing limit. So, oh, hang on. There's five homeless people. Oh, that's quite bad. Hang on a minute. Hang on. We're going to build you some houses because we can now build houses again. So one there, one there, one there. And, oh, we can't quite fit houses down here. That's a bit of a nuisance. But we do now have houses for everybody and two available workers. Okay, that's good. 
that's good news. So now we can go to here and get a grapevine plantation set up. That needs four bits of stone. Oh, and one lot of ceramics. Bother. Okay, right, you lot. Can you make some... Oh, hang on. Yeah, we can see what's going on. Look, there we go. So we can see very slowly they're turning, what, nine? Is that how much there is in there? They're nine... Oh, crikey, I've loaded that up quick. Okay, so we've now got a piece of pottery. Okay, that's very exciting. So if we could just get a little bit more stone, you lot down here. I'm looking at you lot. Whacking that pile of stone there. Do, do that quicker. Whack quicker, please. There you go. Good job. So if we get that up to four, we could get that in. Uh, can we click it now and just build it? Ah, right. Okay, but it's red. Okay. I don't even think we can sort of put it down. Uh, oh, hang on. That's got a massive area around it. Oh, is that going to... Oh, that's going to set that aside as a huge big kind of zone of grapes. Ah, okay. Right. I think... We put that over here. Let's put that over there. We are struggling for stone. If we could go and grab some stone, that'd be amazing. I imagine there's quite a lot in here, is there? There's 82 bits of stone left over there. If we could go and grab some more stone. Are they moving it over now? Ah, six bits. Okay, splendid. Right, so go back into here. Let's get ourselves a lovely kind of, uh, a lovely bit of, uh, lovely bit of grape going on there. So we just put that there. Look, that'll do. Archives. Cultivated fields that are not within range of Noria, ah, those water things, will wither and decay over time. To prevent this, make sure that Noria's range covers all the cultivated fields. Okay, so now we need to get a Noria in. Right, so there's the grapevine plantation. Uh, what does that do? Grapevine field. Oh, that's the area that we can build in, but... We have a certain amount of sort of uh, fields that we can do. I mean, if we just build them out of the back, we can have another one next door and just get two lots. If we just go one, two, three, four, five, and six in a line. So I think that's how many they can have. Is is that going to work? That looks okay. Right, they're a bit dry. Where was that Noria thing? Okay, it's right there, but we can't build one because we don't have enough wood because we're going through quite a lot of resources. Okay, right, run time on nice and quick. Woodcutters... Can you please do some wood cutting? That'd be grand. Um, oh, what's that? What's that about? Uh, oh, hang on. I, I was going to say it's all Greek to me, but no, it's just kind of, it's just mirrored. Okay, no, that's fine. 92% left around there. So if they could grab us another couple of bits of wood, that would be fantastic. But yeah, I think what happens is they kind of store it all up in here. And then somebody has to come along and sort of move the stuff. I don't know if the woodcutters do it or if we have kind of transporters or whatever, but somebody's got to take the wood from there and move it over. Although right now nothing is kind of happening over here. There's infinity trees around there apparently, and there are 10 bits of wood in there, but they're not taking it out right now. I'm not quite sure. I'm sure they'll get to it at some point. They'll move it around at some point. They're just very busy. They're doing other things, I'm sure. Um, yeah, can we look around? Can we see where they might be? They're not in there. They're not kind of in there stuck or anything, not glitching or whatever. Oh, there we go. Some people just went in. Uh, okay. Do we have a little bit of a bug going on? Is there a delicious baguette happening right here? We've got four people working and one person eating. But there is definitely somebody there who is stuck. So Pamphilos is seemingly stuck right there. Does that... Oh, hang on. Pamphilos isn't stuck anymore. What, what's happening to the wood? Can we pl can we get hold of this wood, please? We haven't got any... Oh. Oh. Hang on a minute. A thing has appeared over it. What what does that mean? That's probably a bad sign. Uh, uh, the production has ceased. Production of resources. I imagine because it's full. Hang on. If we press that, what does that do? That pauses production. So the burden lacks personnel. The Wrath of Poseidon. Okay, but I'm trying to figure out how to move some wood around. Can we not do this? The oracles claim the turbulency is a sign of Poseidon's wrath. Venturing out to sea may not be the best idea at the moment. On the other hand, we need a steady supply of fresh fish to ensure food for our people. Okay, we have got 12 meat. And we've got 13 fish already in storage. So let them sail. Risk of an accident at sea. Manage without fish. They're not going to go out sailing. I mean, who am I to argue with the oracles? 
they know many things. I can't figure out how to move some wood from a building to another building. So, uh, okay, we'll manage that with fish for a while. Let's, uh, let's abide by the results of the Oracle. Um, I don't know what's happening with that. Has that, has it bugged out? Has it gone wrong? Can we, do we need some more storage? There's no, in your polis, there are no wood. I think, I suspect maybe that's bugged out ever so slightly. I think that's done a weird thing. What does that do? What's that button do? That looks like a transporty button. Are we summoning transporters? Is that what that is? Are we saying bring people, get rid of the wood out of here? I think that's gone wrong. I think that might have bugged out ever so slightly. Because, yeah, we're gathering other resources, just not wood. And they go in and just come straight out again. Okay, right, we're going to take drastic measures. What we should do is we'll knock it down anytime you like, like that. And anytime you like. There we go. Wonderful. Like that. Perfect. And then we just put another one. Just put another one. Um, ah, we, ha we haven't got any wood. <laughs> um, I, I can see a problem with this. We now haven't got enough wood to build a woodcutter's house to uh, gather more wood. This is a little bit of a technical oversight. Can we can we buy some wood? Can we import some wood in? Oh, now the game's going to hang again. Okay, right, game, are you feeling all right? I don't know. Okay, no, right, the game came back to us. That's very wonderful. However, we now only have one bit of wood. We've got one bit of wood. The grape, sort of, yeah, the vineyard thing over there is they've all died. They've all died because there's no water. So that's all bad. So we lost all those kind of fields over there. If we demolish things, do we get stuff back? That is the big question. Let's say if we demolished, I know, that warehouse. Do we get... Oh, hang on. There's a bit of wood in there. There is one bit of wood. Um, Yeah, what happens if we... Can we just... I mean, there's a bit of wood right there. Can we just use that tree? This hasn't gone entirely according to plan, has it? Um, Okay. So what if we, yes, demolish that do we get stuff back because nobody's fishing right now anyway so if we demolish that do we get some wood back because we got one bit of wood back somehow i don't quite know what happened if we run time on are we going to get more wood from over here there is somebody moving some stuff around is that more wood no that was meat okay i was kind of secretly hoping there was a pile of wood over here they were slowly moving around but no okay right we have a little bit of a problem. I find it a bit strange. It's a bit, somebody can just go and chop a tree down. We don't need a special woodcutter building to do it. Just just get Jeff from the corner there to go and chop a tree down. And then we can get on with stuff. But no, apparently that's not allowed. Um, okay. So what can we knock down? I think then, let's potentially knock that down. Right. Two bits of wood. Perfect. This is all going to be fine. This is working exactly as planned. It's all good. Um, and then... Get a woodcutter thing. Set up. Uh, I mean, 86%, 88, 93. Oh, okay. Do you know what? We'll move it over. Move it there. Look, 93% of wood around there, apparently. Or do we put it over there? 80%. Okay. No, we'll put it here. Look. What if we move it a bit closer in that direction? No. Okay. That's not quite as good. Uh, we'll put it 95% now. Just there will do. Yeah, we'll have some lovely things over there. Right, okay. Can we get some wood now, please? <laughs> this is going fantastically well. Right, you lot go into there. You lot go out and cut down some trees. Just at literally at the ones nearby. Oh, so they, maybe they've been over here, look. There is quite a lot of deforestation happening over here. So can we just move this stuff out? So 60, 70, whatever. So the, the percentage is totaling up. So as soon as a bit of wood comes in, we've got to grab that. So one bit's done. So now is somebody coming along to take that wood out of here and store it away? Because it counts as none right now in the polis because it's all sort of uh, stored away in this building. I think they are. There are two people now moving. So yeah, look, they've got, have they got wood in the back? Mm, it looks like pots and things. I don't know. But is that bits of wood? That was a bit of wood. Okay. Right, okay, this, this is fine. We're back on track. The woodcutter building is now doing what it's supposed to do again. So momentarily, we'll have another bit of wood and then we can build a noria or a noria. And then, is that a bit of wood? Yay, right, okay. And then we can water the grapes and then we can get some wine. That's the plan. Okay, so that I think should potentially... 
go in the middle over here. And that can then cover, if we put that there actually, if we sort of put that there, that can cover quite a lot of winery things going on. If we put that like that, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That, there were two, there were two by three, weren't they? So that would be, so I'm just trying to work this out how it's going to work. So that would be another one. That would be it. So if we put it there, yeah, there's perfect. So if we put that there, does it have a front? Uh, yeah, I think that, put it like that. That'll do. So drop that in. So how does that work? So that's just now going to cut. I kind of feel like that's the wrong way round. And I can't see what it looks like because there's a big tree in the way. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's like a little water wheel thing. Oh, that's quite fun. However, are all the... Ah, right. They're all dead over here. Right, okay. So we've got to build them again. Okay, that's... Do you know what? That's fine. That's perfectly understandable. So one and two, three and four and five and six. And now that should be able to provide water to them. So can we see that happen? And they've got the little kind of gullies going between them. So maybe that thing is just pouring water between them. Okay, right. So we can now get some grapes... And now we need to get the winery. So the winery, I imagine, is going to require a couple of extra people, but that's okay. Yeah, 50 people living here. Uh, right. Where can we get some more people living? Because they can't fit in there. Let's put lots of decoratives into there. What a terrible shame. Maybe over here, look. Or maybe at the back. Maybe just there. We'll get a few houses set up along here, actually. Hang on. So if we have them going like that. So can we fit a few in? What if we have a house like that? And why can't we have a house? That, oh, because we're out of wood. <laughs> you lot, chop wood quicker, move it quicker, please. We need one more bit of wood. Come on, and we can build another house, and it shall be lovely. Hang on, while we wait for that to come in. Uh, yeah, we'll build around there, look. Like that, and down like that. And then, oh, there we go, three bits of wood. Marvellous, right. So get that in like that. And then in the middle... We've got a bit of a gap, so we could put in some lovely decoratives. We could put in a pair of lovely decorative columns, and uh, we haven't got a fire kind of burner thing. We'll put one of those there. There we go. So if it does get a bit chilly, you know, if there is a chilly Greek evening, we can all gather around that thing and warm up. But that's more space for people to live. So we should hopefully be able to accommodate another couple of people. There's nobody homeless, which is good. So I think... How is that looking? Are we actually getting... Oh, yeah, we've got grapes. We've got some grapes. So as well as fish and meat, we've got some you know, some fruit going on. We're covering many major food groups. And also, yes, we're going to turn the grapes into wine. And then we can cover an important drink group. And we can all get a bit tooty and fall over. Not exactly a pina colada. But you know what? It will do. It'll do. A bottle of wine will have to do until we can figure out how to make pina coladas. Right, there we go. We've finally got 50 people. So now we can go to here. We can make a winery. It's 220 money. Three bits of wood and six stone. I mean, yeah, the stone's looking okay. The stone looks fine. It's the wood where we're struggling. But okay, so let's put that... I mean, that doesn't need a big area. And this is our kind of industrial bit. Let's put it down there, look. Pop it right there. Okay. The fishermen are reporting sightings of ships on the horizon, approaching our island ever closer. We do not know who is on board them or what they want, but we must be prepared for the worst. Despite the growing anxiety among our people, it's a place to defend the prosperity we have worked so hard to build. Okie doke. So now we have to do some defending. Are we going to see some fighting going on? One of our production buildings is not... For oh, 14 minutes ago. Enemy raid. Oh, but we're, hang on a minute. It's only just telling us about fighty stuff. Hang on. Danger looms on the horizon. The fishermen have spotted an enemy ship approaching our island and the ominous black sail leaves no doubt about the inv uh, the intentions of its crew. Okay, pirates, I would say. We must act swiftly and decisively to defend our citizens from the invaders. Prepare the army for battle. We don't have an army. And consider a defensive strategy. Uh, hit the enemy with pointy sticks. The future of the entire polis rests in your hands. Okay, I apologise in advance, everybody. Uh, okay, okay, so pause time in the background. How do we do this? How do we go about doing this? So, in order to recruit military units, you need to build recruitment buildings in your polis. Barracks means we can have infantry, archery range, range units. Okay, I'm with you. To open the military panel, click the button located to the left of the building categories or press tab. Okay, oh, there's a uh, that's a unit management mode. Right, so I think we kind of, yeah, we can create military troops that consist of units of the same type. 
So we can kind of create a troop of units. We can have like a, an infantry troop and a ranged troop. Okay, that's fine. I will muddle through. Oh yeah, a bit like that look. Do you know what? We're going to muddle. Hang on. To move them. That's quite important. To move the troop, select it by clicking the troop button at the top of the military panel or by clicking directly on any unit within the troop. Okay, so we click the troop button at the top of the panel. So like that bit there, after selecting it, right click where they move and they automatically do fighting. Okay, right, military stuff. Better get some of these in. We can get a barracks in right now. We can't get an archery range. I, I would have preferred archers, but do you know what? We'll, uh, we'll go and do some melee stuff. We'll get up close and do some fighting. So how about we put that right there. That is already in, which is good. And um, yeah, if we do this... So, infantry. We can only make infantry right now. So, no skirmishers, no cavalry. We've not got that kind of ready. Um, yeah, infantry will do. So, how does that work exactly? So, if we do that, somebody's going to come over and become infantry. They've got to be trained up, is that? Is that? Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Pause time. So, right. Okay. <laughs> right, I see. So, so in the future, we can get a uh, oh, high pass pissed. So, yo, know, person with armor on, helmet, big kind of spear, exciting shield, looks like a giant cake, looks out from above. And then hot plates, so they look even better, they're amazing. We can't do those right now. We can, however, just get a topless man in a cloth. Okay, do you know what? Topless man in a cloth, you will do the job. Let's get, a, let's get, I don't know, two lots of you coming in. Uh, oh, if we, hang on. Is that, I don't know if that's enough. I don't know if that's enough. Where are the baddies? Can we see the baddies? If we try and rotate the camera. No, we can't quite. Oh, hang on. Is that them? That might be them over there. There's something over there. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. There's something over here. If I try and oh, tilt the camera. Yeah, there. You were supposed to have a black sail. It said that is not a black sail. You did. That's a lie. But uh, okay, right. So they are coming. We now need to get some people trained up. The only thing is I don't quite know how this works. <laughs> We've got that down there. So, uh, oh, we need wood. Oh, hang on. Oh, we didn't have any wood before. Oh, right, hang on. Get get rid of... Oh, no, I've done this a bit wonkaloid. I've created two units of the same thing. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Uh, yeah, you can join us as well. So, yes, two bits of wood uh, are required. Yeah, so one bit of wood to require to train these. Oh, look, and they're kind of... They are being trained. They're being trained. So, we're going to have to... Oh, there we can see the boat. We can see the enemy boat coming in. It's fortunately going very slowly. Okay, so we've got one topless man ready to fight for us. Can we soon have another topless man ready to fight for us? I suspect so. Let's get a third topless man ready to defend the settlement. That's going to be very wonderful. And then we have a bit of a choice. Either we hang around and wait until we've got enough wood to build an archery range. And then we get some archers. Or we just keep on training topless men. I think maybe just keep on training topless men. That might be the best thing. I think they're being added to... The, yeah, look, they're just there, look. They're just there. So we've got three, almost three topless men. That's good. How is how is the wood cutting going? Are you lot okay? Two bits of wood. Okay, right. Two more topless men, please. <laughs> there we go. I've got some wood. I'd like to order some topless men. I kind of feel like we should get a full regiment of topless men. So at the moment, we've got five. If we could get that up to nine, I think that should be okay to defend us against the baddies. So if we just grab you and then grab you, so that's seven out of the nine topless men that we're permitted. There is a limit to the amount of topless men that we can have, of course. Uh, and that'd be sort of that entire, yeah, what do they call it? Like a troop. That'd be like a unit, I could have, but like a unit kind of entirely sort of full. And then... The boat is going quite slow. The game has done that weird kind of potential crashing thing. Again. That's, that's a little bit off-putting, that is. Um, so if we do have enough time, we could get an archery thing set up. But I don't think we're going to have the wood. Because the archery thing was... Was that another eight wood? I don't think we're going to be able to get eight bits of wood. Hang on a minute. Uh, another topless man and a final topless man. Nine topless men. My goodness me. It's a wonderful thing. That's our elite fighting force. So I think we should be able to get them down to over here. But yeah, we're not going to have enough wood to... How do we come out of that? Um, to build the other thing. So the archer range there was eight bits of wood. And then also we're then going to have to train archers. 
So I don't think we're going to have that done in time. At least we do have nine top plus men ready to defend the settlement. Is that now done? Nine out of nine. Okay, so can we then click you lot? Oh yeah, they put down a massive flag. They run off into the middle of nowhere and then they come back over here. Okay, this that's good. Right, hello top plus men ready to defend the settlement. Um, Yeah, come over here because the boat, the baddie boat is sort of over here, look. Are they going to come in over here? So they might come in this way. So I think, yeah, if you guys wait around here, that might be the best thing. Why is that not working? What's the problem with that? It sees production of resources. But why? But can you tell me why this is the case? I don't know why that's the case. Uh, it says... Uh, I, do you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Can we monitor wine up there? No grapes. And only... Oh, hang on a minute. That's wine. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. No grapes in 2-1. I don't know why that stopped. That water thing should be still going. That still... Yeah, the grapes look nice and watered. Is there nowhere for the grapes to go? Um, okay, do some transporting. That's paused it. So switch it back on. Does that help? Uh, okay, I don't know why that stopped. I don't know why they've just given up hope. The strangers have landed on the shore and they do not seem friendly. We must protect our people and the treasury in the Agora at all costs. Do not hesitate? Send your army to confront the enemies. Oh, okay, well, hang on. Put time on to normal. Right, our army are over here. I say our army. Our group of nine topless men are over here. Where are the enemy? And what have they got? Are you a group of topless men? I think they might have nine topless men as well. Okay. <laughs> This is, this is good. This is good. Okay, so it's going to be a fair fight. It's going to be a fair fight. If we meet them over here, look. If we get them over there. Come on, where are our topless men? Run, topless men. Are they are they moving? Oh, yeah, they are. If we get them here, look, we will have the high ground. And we could fight them with a little bit of an advantage. I don't know if that makes any difference at all. Yeah, if we come over here, it did so they sort of fight automatically, didn't it? So here we go. Battle is joined. Uh, right, our people are, our topless men are being slightly stabbity stabbed. Um, I mean, this is, this is our strategy. Did say, yes, come up with a fine strategy. It, it's just kind of stabbing them a bit with a big, I mean, they are using big pointy sticks. This topless man here and that one there, they're just hanging around at the back of the fight. They know the deal. They're like, no, we're not going to go and get killed. Oh, the raiders have been defeated. Soldiers fought fiercely for their homes and families. Loud cheering could be heard in your polis when the last enemy fell to the ground. Take that, bad guys. Okay, look, we've done it. Well done, topless men. Okay, you, you've you earned a day off. You can go and have a nice lie down now. Um, where do, I'm just going to put them in the middle. You can go and stand around the fountain. That can be your treat. Archives. Okay, technology. Here we go. So maritime trade, and then we can build a harbour. Okay, look, I was wondering how the kind of research thing would work. So through technology, you can start the development of more efficient resource gathering methods or unlock more advanced buildings. Okay, so what do we have to do then? So build... Oh, we don't have to build anything to let us kind of research stuff. We just kind of do it automatically, do we? We now just know how to do research. Okay, so use the technology button in the upper right corner or press T. Right, okay, I'm sure we can work this out. Right, come out of that bit, come out of that. That is technology. Okay, so what do we want to do? Maritime trade is the current objective of that. So which one's that? We need five bits of wood to do that. And we've only got four. Of course we have. We never, ever have enough wood in this game. Um, right, okay, you lot, gather some more wood, please. And then we need to go and look at what's happening with the wine. Because that stopped working for no good reason. Not quite sure why. If we switch it off, switch it back on, does that help? I don't know why that stopped. But we're not making any more grapes, so we're not making any more wine. Which, of course, is going to make people a bit glum. Um, okay, right, never mind. We'll, we'll maybe come... Oh, hang on, what's that about? Oh, yeah, there's no grapes. Yeah, okay, so the winery is going, we can't do anything, there's no grapes. But for no apparent reason, the grapevine thing is going, no, we're not working either. Right, we have got seven bits of wood, though, which is good, so let's go up there. And, um, yeah, we will have that, please. So that's going to take... 15, what's that? 15 somethings, 350 money and five wood. Okay, we'll have a bit of that then, please. And that's going to take a while. That's going to take quite some time to unlock. Okay, right, run time on very quickly. 
we might have to possibly destroy that and then rebuild it. But that's fine. While we do that research, we'll rebuild our little kind of uh, grapevine thingamajig. Refugees from distant lands have arrived in our polis. They say their homes have been burned by invaders, and now they wander the world seeking a new home. We can accept them, but our people may not be pleased with this decision. Remember, news spreads quickly, and the refugees we accept now may not be the last seeking shelter in your polis. Okay, so we can either say, yes, you can come in. So the population will increase. The stability might slightly decrease and people are going to get a little bit grumpy, but only for a while. We can't give them any supplies because we don't have enough fish. Oh, we haven't rebuilt our fishing hut thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Best go and do that, I think. Or reject them. We're not going to reject them. Everybody is welcome here in Penjopolis. It's brilliant. Yes, absolutely. In you come. Welcome aboard, everybody. I mean, yeah, we have got 15 homeless people and no fish but apart from that everything's going fine hang on a minute can we build a new fishing dock thing <laughs> kind of forgot to replace that just pop that in down there that's good that'll give some people something to do um and then yeah 15 homeless people uh right can we get some houses please no because we haven't got any wood okay this is going this is going wonderfully well this is brilliant oh on the plus side though we do have a new vineyard type thing so we are growing grapes again that's quite good and it seems to be working and over here the chappie is saying our ship's captain has finally returned from his mission he claims to convince a neighboring polis to engage in trade with us but first we must lay out to construct a harbor okay so that's what the whole sort of tech thing is for get a harbor in and then we can do some trading how is that going it's about, what, two-thirds of the way round? That's quite slow. That's taking quite a long time. I think we need to get some more wood. We need to gather some more wood. I think we wait until we get two bits of wood, and then we get another woodcutter over here somewhere. Because, yeah, that's coming in way too slowly. It's painfully slow. So we'll gather more wood, and then we'll use it to build a woodcutter to gather even more wood. That's the plan. Okay, I think they researched the technology. I think that's done. So we can check on that. Right, there we go. So maritime trade is now done. However, we are not collecting any more wood. The wood is just not increasing. There's five bits in there right now, and nobody's taking it out. So we might be in that very silly situation again where... They're just not moving things around. They're just not moving things about. Um, yeah, in terms of in terms of food, it's looking a bit low as well. People are a bit hungry. Although I don't quite know why. We've got fish going on down there. I mean, maybe we need another one of those. But yeah, we haven't got any wood because that thing has gone a bit wobbly again. Everybody is working. I mean, yeah, the wood's kind of stocking up, but nobody's taking it out of there and moving it where we can actually use it. Look, so it's gone up to seven bits. Um, I mean, yeah, do we, need to press, do we need to press that thing to summon people to move it away? We did try that before, but it didn't work. And of course, if we want to kind of rebuild this, we need two bits of wood. So we have to destroy that and then another building as well. So I'm kind of hoping, my fingers are crossed, that this is going to start working soon. And we get a gigantic supply of wood coming out of it. But I don't think that's going to be the case. So at the moment, we're low on food and housing. And we need to build a harbour as well, so we can do some trade. I mean, trade would be useful. Maybe we could buy in some wood, but yeah, it's not working, is it? That thing's gone a bit wibbly again. Botherations. Um, okay, okay, right. This is fun. We can work around it. We've done it before, so we can take that apart to get one bit of wood. And then we might have to take the fish thing apart again. I do apologise. I'm really sorry, but I think that might be what we have to do. Um, oh, and happiness is coming down. Oh, that was because we had... The, we took on board the uh, refugees. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. I can I can deal with that. That's not so bad. But yeah, that's just stuck again, isn't it? That is a bit stuck. I mean, yeah, it is a kind of, you know, a uh, prologue playtest version. This is actually the playtest of the game. So um, yeah, that's kind of what these things are designed to do, kind of pick out little kind of bugs and errors and things. But clearly there is something wrong with that, which means they're not taking the resources out of here and moving them elsewhere, which is a bit of a nuisance. Okay, right, let's go and sort that out, and we'll get it all back up and running, and then eventually we'll be able to build a harbour. Okay, so we've got one bit of wood. That's okay. It's better than no bits of wood. It's taking a very, very long time, but there we go. Two bits of wood. Okay, we've got up to two bits of wood. This is amazing, because now we can build another wood cuttery, um, and I think... Let's just put it over there. Let's put it right there it's near to a warehouse it's near to various other things and it's got plenty of people to go and work in it i think so have we now got people four people 
So four more people gathering wood. That should go up quite quickly. I mean, over here we have sort of, uh, we've got things not working. And uh, yeah, people are hungry. And one of our buildings has fallen apart. I think it's that one. I think that building has kind of uh, fallen into disrepair. Maybe they use the wood for repairs or something. I don't quite know what that's supposed to be an icon of either. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to show me, but okay, so there's a, there's there are things happening. I don't know what that means either. These buildings are falling apart, so does that mean we just have to demolish them and rebuild them? I don't quite know, but we have got 11 homeless people, and I think people might possibly be dying. People are disappointed. I mean, it doesn't help that we can't get the wood in quick enough. We simply can't gather the wood quick enough. It, uh, 79% gather more wood <laughs> gather the wood oh now the stone thing has stopped working the ceramics workshop has stopped working why is that happening oh that's down here have we ran out of clay we might possibly have ran out of clay I think somebody else might have just died somebody else is hungry I mean at least we've got a bottle of wine we've got one bottle of wine and we've got some ceramics I mean yeah round round to uh, let's pick a person you Everybody round to Zephira's house. We've got a bottle of wine and some ceramics. We can have a wild party with it all. That'd be great, wouldn't it? But it's going to take forever to do all this kind of stuff. Build another harbour. Where is that now? The harbour's going to take 10 bits of wood. The rate it's going, I'd be waiting for the next three hours. Look how slow it is. I think they do use the wood for repairs. So the wood is obviously being used up elsewhere. They've just given up. I don't know. Just go, go to work, somebody over here. There's only two of you now, and you're both eating. Okay, right, we might have a little bit of a problem. So I think maybe the whole sort of, you know, the wood not being gathered issue might have caused us a few problems. It definitely slowed things down, which I think has resulted in people starving to death and, you know, the population coming down, then we don't have enough workforce, all that kind of stuff. So I think what we'll do is we will wrap things up for now with our little look at Builders of Greece. But do you know what? It's quite good. I like it. I like a game like this. It's a good old classic city builder. You build homes and production buildings and you link things up with roads and you have kind of little production chains going on and all that kind of stuff. And this one does sort of as well become a little bit of a sort of an RTS type for your know, real time strategy thing with your troops. We had a fight over here. And of course, we took a glorious victory as well. So it's going to be a little mix of the two. And looking at this over here, on the research tree, it looks like there is quite a lot to unlock. There's a lot going on. I mean, we unlocked one thing and it took a long time to get sorted. There's a load of other things. There are many, many other things that we could unlock. Got some crops and things, irrigation, food gathering, efficient food gathering, plus 10% to the fishman hut and hunting lodge efficiency. Might be worth getting that done. That might help people because, yeah, we are losing quite a lot of... Uh, quite a lot of population now so, uh, so yeah we will finish up i think yeah the the sort of wood collecting bug didn't help out there had that not happened we would have had quite a lot of wood to build some more gathering huts and another fishman hut or two down there and it would have just been a, yeah everything would have been a little bit slicker but there you go that's because yeah we're in sort of a sort of a play test prologue kind of thing and that's fine that's okay it's all good i think we did okay we did okay. We built this wonderful little place over here. It's in a really, really lovely part of the world. And of course, we defended it from some baddies as well, which was wonderful. I think really, the only thing that would top it off would be the hotel. The hotel over here, the beachfront hotel, pool, pina coladas, cup of tea. It'd be amazing. But there we go. We'll finish things up for now with Builders of Greece. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. You know, I'm brilliant at doctoring. I'm very good at all that kind of stuff. But we have got a flashy lights Nino machine, which is all very exciting. It's Kite Club. That's what it is. It's kite club it's the craze that's sweeping the hospital everyone loves a kite now stay with us mr anderson we all know what comes next say it along with me we have to go over to the wheel of names